I was almost a champion of the world in something that was worth being a champion in. When you're that close, you don't give up easy. After the Olympics, I went to a great teacher, and he said, if you train for three hours a day and become champion, you should immediately begin to train six hours a day. My mother wanted me to be a piano player. My father wanted me to be a professional man. Everybody wanted the best for me, and so did I. I still do. When I came to Japan, I was 19. It was for six months. Now I'm 24 and I'm still here. When I landed, I had $85 and some pretty funny ideas about this country. But I found work as an extra in movies or teaching English. My sisters helped, and the folks would drop the odd $5 in a letter. Even my rooms improved. The first one had no light at all, and the next was like living in a wind tunnel. Now I've got a real palace. I can even stand up in it. The judo was the tough part. Suddenly I was in the big leagues, fighting the best police and university judokas. I was injured all the first year. But by the end of it, I was doing some of the throwing. Sometimes I get homesick. I miss fresh air and the family and that. But when I'm home for a championship, I find I miss raw fish and kimonos and quite a few things here. It makes me wonder how a Japanese boy would feel playing hockey in Canada. When I finally made up my mind to leave home, it was hard to explain, even to myself, that I wasn't running away from anything, but that I was running towards something. With all the publicity and being a little on the large side, you tend to stick out. You can get self-conscious, like when they come up behind you and compare foot sizes. And they talk about you, but that doesn't bother me. I like the Japanese. I guess I should. In a way, I grew up with them.
In the East it said, when the pupil is ready, the teacher will come. Kimura is the greatest fighter Japan ever produced. I think he was national champion about a dozen times. In ten years he was never off his feet. They say no one before Kimura, no one after. I'm the only Westerner he's ever taught. He says I can be champion. In fact, he says I must be champion. I don't think Kimura recognizes physical limitations. He just trains this beyond any that happen to come up. For me, he says he stays up nights, thinking of ways to make me stronger, better. With him, I can win now, but I've got a lot more to lose. Each member of our university team does 600 push-ups a day. Once in a while, we do a thousand. This is unreasonable. We know that. But it pushes us beyond a physical limit. To another place. Way outside or way inside. I don't know where exactly, but I've been there. If I don't train hard, I feel guilty. Because even if I do win, I know there's someone, someplace, in Japan or Europe, who can beat me because he's training harder. Usually, as the numbers increase, so does the height of my behind, which is considered something of a Japanese landmark. I was mystic in the beginning, I suppose. Maybe I expected some secret weapon from the East. But there's no mystery about it, as many believe or would like to believe. Good judo is a matter of hard work and concentration. The best judo? Well, maybe I don't know yet. This has got to be the goofiest job in the world. Wooden guns, rubber knives, and you wait around about nine hours for five minutes' work. I don't believe in movies anymore. So far in my film career, I've been an SS trooper, a submarine commander, and the fastest gun in the East. But I'm getting tired of being the villain. I want to be a hero for a while. <laughs> All right, where are you going? To Saigon. We are Japanese correspondents. Okay. I fought my Olympic boats in the Budokan arena. I like to go back there whenever I can, especially to fight big Japanese. The little ones have style, but you need power. 
Morita's got both. He's a wrestling champion and about the best police judoka in Tokyo. He keeps me honest. In competition, a bout's over with the first fall. But to get in shape for a world championship, for Gaysink or the big Russians, you have to pull the stops in practice, make a few mistakes, and fight like hell. I was brought up to turn the other cheek, so to speak. It's funny, but I think I went into judo at one time trying to be tough. I wanted to be strong. But I found, as you get more and more skillful, the desire to act big and tough sort of works the other way. I know I have the skill now. I don't have to talk about it. I'd still rather shy away from any physical demonstration of what I can do, of what I know I can do. I can still remember most of the Olympic final. It lasted the full 15 minutes. Inokuma, the Japanese champion, was very powerful for his size. He's probably the fastest big man in judo. But after a few minutes with him, I gained confidence. I felt stronger than I ever had against him. I lost the decision, but it wasn't one-sided by any means. In fact, the moment I grabbed hold of him, I knew he was a little worried, too. I feel stronger now than I ever have. I only wish I'd been taught by Kimura before the Olympics. A year ago, Morita could take me. Now that's not quite the case. He's not getting any worse, so I must be getting better. About once a month, Kimura lets the university team relax a bit. Some songs, a little sake. Nothing very complicated. Most of them are country boys, straightforward, loyal, and just about any one would be a champion in his weight class in North America. They may not be whiz kids, but they've made me feel more at home than I did in two years at McGill. Oh,呼ばぬことと諦めました。だけど恋しいあの人よ。ママになるなら。今一度一目だけでも会いたいなおっす。<笑> 
Some of their songs are pretty ribald, lots of fun. But when they're serious, they sing about strong men in their country, like maybe we used to. mistake coming to Japan. I wonder what I gave up. Security? A car? A BA 10 million other guys have got? But I've missed good things too. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I've got a good girl. I live in a country I like. I live in two countries I like. Sometimes I don't eat too well. And sometimes I live pretty high. My friends are good people. My teacher is the best there ever was. I guess a man anywhere can't ask for more than that. Yeah. 